Are you a filmmaker? And do you like new camera shit? Cause I do. But sometimes I miss out on 50% of my timeline because I'm not investing in good audio. And if you don't invest in good audio, your video is going to suck. Usually having like your phone as a microphone, most of the time it's enough. It's just having a mic closer to your subject is key but sometimes you just don't want that you just uh, don't like the microphone in the frame like this for that reason i had this incredibly versatile deity d3 with me um for years now it's been my on-camera microphone and it's been my hiding out of frame microphone problem is you know it's not that long it's good for on the microphone absolutely this is peak vlogging mic because it's not too short not too stubby it's not too long this is the perfect size in my opinion i can I, why did I do that? I got a box and I need to open it. I, I didn't think this would work. Fuck! So the first time I ever heard about the deities, the brand in general, was uh, a review for the deity D for the deity V mic D3 and the deity V mic D3 Pro, and it was a review by Kai Wong. Oh God, I love that dude. He's so cool. If you don't know who Kai Wong is and you are a filmmaker, go watch his shit. He is amazing. Balls. Ooh. Is this actual brand new? <laughs> what? No way. So when I recently looked up what it would take to get another, like a second microphone for like different tasks, I stumbled upon some eBay offerings. And the pro version was actually cheaper on those listings than the regular one. So I thought it was like beware, where it's like already used stuff, shit that got sent back. But this does look brand new. Whoa, it even smells new. What the fuck? How old is that? Wait, how old is that thing by now? Let me check this. Isn't it like four years old? 2018. Holy. What? So why not just, you know, get an older one, get an XLR one, get like a proper mic instead of get this one? Because of something that is very important to myself, for me personally, I like versatility. For example, my most used lens on the Sony is a zoom lens. Just because I can zoom, I have like all the focal ranges that I need ever. Versatility as a small creator is key because then you have to spend less. So sacrificing just a little bit, just a little bit of audio quality, it's, it's totally fine for a little bit of versatility. And I think this right here, bro. And I think this right here is the perfect example. So what do I mean? First of all, it is an internal battery. I can charge this thing over USB-C. It's crazy. And I trust this battery enough that it will last me for like a long, long time. And that was key for me. It was like, you yeah, know, yeah, very versatile. I can use this for like everything that I need. Uh, second, the audio quality is a bit better. Obviously, it's a bit longer, which means it's more direct. You know, I can have it like on a frame, like let's say, let's say over here or something, and I'll still have crispy clean audio, which is something that I would like. Another thing that this thing has is a gain knob, which I think before this, I have never seen on a microphone. Again, remember this was back in 2018. It's, it's been a while, uh, but it's smooth. I don't know how this goes into my workflow now, but I can just adjust my gain on my microphone. It's a quick ta-da! So there's only one thing left to do, is to test it. Wow, that's in there. That's good. I like that. Connectors that are connected properly. So a few things why I actually did get this. First reason being that we needed one. A friend of mine, the Kinesi guy, uh, who I'm doing a lot of projects with, he's the sound guy and he doesn't really have a mic. <laughs> so he can't really do anything. So I figured why not get this? Because again, I was looking at eBay and I found this for 50 bucks. 
When I, when I got my V mic three, first of all, it was a present from my grandma. Really thankful for that. Grandma, I know you're watching this. Thank you for this microphone. In case you remember, you brought me this. <laughs> For, for Christmas. Yeah, for Christmas. Still really thankful. And I will we'll use this until it explodes. It's that simple. So why did we get this? Um, simply because it's a great production mic, in my opinion. It's longer, versatile. Third, I think it's the greatest mic right now that you can slap on a setup, on a, on a camera rig, and just have it there for good quality audio. You don't need like a giant XLR mount or anything. You just need like this one, plug it in the camera, and then you, you pull up the gain. Oh, let's go. I want to know how does it sound in comparison to this room right here. This is the Shure SM57, which is one of my favorite mics. I had another dynamic mic before this one and I, I thought it was way too boomy. This one is great. I think it's a, it's a good microphone. And can you theoretically use the DRD as like, like a studio mic? Like point it in your, at your face, pull, pull down the gain, you know, and just have it really close to you. I don't know if I'm too close. Am I too close? Hello. Hello and welcome to my microphone tests. Uh, the thing about microphones is, first of all, there's going to be post-processing. I will now turn off all the post-processing. Give it a little EQ, a lot of compression to make it sound more even. That's something I would do on any talking headshot ever because it makes your sound more good. <laughs> so. And the good thing about microphones is if you invest in a few uh, great ones, those will hold. Most likely, if you don't use it as a hammer, microphones will hold. I still have every single microphone I ever bought. The actual reason why you get new microphones is for new jobs. For example, if I now buy like a real, like another production one, like a real long one, that will be like an interview one. Those will be for outside sh shootings, you know, where I have an actual crew. For that, I would like one of those. But for something else where it's just me or like two people on set, being me and the bro, something like this is quite perfect because I fucking cannot use this one. This is for having it in your face talking into it but this one let's test it so i have this on eight now first of all you might hear this one right here uh, this makes noise bit annoying hmm. doesn't matter but you can hear i can just tone it down in post and still have great audio quality even though i'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm away from me it's like the telescopes of microphones you know the longer the interference tube the more zoom you have in your microphone here's another quick test the microphone is just out of arm's reach. Okay, now it's, it's a lot of out of arm's reach. I wouldn't use this in a room like this because it's way too echoey. You hear everything, it bounces. This one is on low power. That's why you cannot hear this right now. This would be more of a fair fight because I had this on 100% last time and I, the, the fan just goes crazy. So that was pretty unfair, but this one should be a little bit more fair. Uh, yes, uh, section over. The way my room just deals with audio isn't great that's why i always opted for dynamic mics instead of you know something like this because it's just way too echoey in here the delay is crazy dude you can just hear that i'm in a small room and it's annoying i also did a little wind test with my little wind thingy That was cool, I, I guess. <laughs> if there's still a demand on comparing the non-pro with the pro, then I might do that. Just tell me in the comment what your favorite chocolate is, because in my case, it might be these. Yeah, this was just a little initial review. Talking a little bit about microphones. If you did find this helpful, uh, please leave a comment, a like, subscribe. I don't know, I'm currently growing this channel and it would mean a lot because, I mean, you've already watched this long, dude. Why wouldn't you subscribe now? We're almost at 555 subscribers. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.